What's up, everybody? It's easy. Bring you a, another war recap against a, another engineer clan. These damage ink versus these scoundrels, Infinity Empire. And I guess it's true that I am just a giant baby. <laughs> Didn't have many war recaps in the past month because uh, we had a hard time winning. But we finally found the we got the right we got the mixture right, so able to win. Finally got four straight, and I got some tips in this video on how we did it, how you might be able to. Got some great attacks in the video too. As you can see from the beginning, we had a bunch of Town Hall 11s down in the bottom of their clan. I think it was 12 out of 15, 11 out of 15 that they had Town Hall 11s. They all had maxed out air and they also defended against air too so that was kind of part of the strategy we, we kind of adjusted our bases for the air attacks and we kind of geared up towards the ground attacks trying to attack these anti-air bases uh, ended up three star in the whole clan except for the top three or four or something like that I think we got two stars in them three of the rest and that's kind of the recipe for beating the engineer clans. You, ha you, you have to three star all of them but one or two. And we'll go over that a little more as we get into the tips. It's coming up here in a second. And then we'll get into a couple of play by plays. Had a, several great attacks, a couple slap attacks in this video, uh, a couple dragaloons at the end. Uh, just a couple different looks from some real popular attacks that might be able to help you out with your attack. Kind of I'm trying to keep the video shorter too. So, um, you know, I have a little beginning and ending to the video, so it's not all actual replay time. So the actual replay time is about six or seven minutes. So this is Gola Loon, another real popular attack. Uh, th the goal with the Gola Loon is you're gonna bring you're gonna bring the Golem in with the heroes and usually with wizards. Some people will bring bowlers in with them, and you're gonna take out a couple of the key defenses, mainly the air defenses. So you can see right here, uh, Stick and Go is going to go into this, uh, into the left side of the base, and he brings the Golem in, he's pulling the Clan Castle troops, he's going to poison and kill the Clan Castle troops, and he's going to push his troops into that part of the base and try to take out those two air defenses on the left side. And then he can bring in the air portion of the attack and take out the rest of the base. So while we're watching that, here's some of the tips on, be on beating these engineer clans. First to avoid them altogether. You want to make sure that you don't bring anyone in your war party that is missing any defenses from their town hall level. We'll talk about it a little more. We'll, we'll elaborate a little more in a minute. Uh, don't bring more than three town hall levels to war. And that's actually really important. The computer has a hard time matching you up. And I'll, this is the second time I've mentioned this, but don't bring any .5 bases. .5s are engineered to supercell. So you're going to have to start evening them out. And this is actually a really big factor in beating the engineer clans. Make sure you have a couple of max 11s sitting up top. The reason is, is because a lot of the, the engineer clans, they're going to three star all the 10s. They're going to they're gonna three star a lot of the 11s, but those maxed out 11s sitting up top, they may give you that little bit of margin that you can win by. And I, we, we noticed this because of our lineup. Uh, the top of our clan had four Town Hall 11s. All of us went to Town Hall 11 at the same time. We were primarily a .5 clan. In other words, we would we would upgrade and we would make sure we did all of our offenses first, and then we would max up the defenses at the end of the Town Hall upgrade. So we had four Town Hall 11s sitting up top without the Eagle Artillery, without max defenses, and we were, we were pulling in multiple. You know, out of the last 20 wars, we fought 18 Engineer clans. And that's not a lie. That's <laughs> got the videos to prove it. And uh, here's our, here's my super dip attack, by the way. Also, when you're fighting engineer clans and, and you're 
doing well against them, you'll have a lot of dip down attacks. So take take advantage of those dip down attacks. Drop down with some of your higher town hall uh, level uh, players. Take out the lowers, and then use the, your town hall nine accounts to either scout or use your town hall tens to jump up and, and two star the town hall elevens. That's a, that's a big strategy that you're going to use. Try to t also try to manage these uh, engineer wars. So I, I mentioned the max 11 sitting up top, and the reason why that's such a big deal is as soon as we had my main account easy, well now he has all almost all max defenses, and it has changed the dynamic of what the other clans can do to us. So now they'll spend if they. They'll, have, they'll spend multiple attacks just two-starring uh, Ezekiel most of the time. So now instead of having the, the .5 11 sitting up top and getting three-starred by the other side's maxed 11s, because that's what you're going to get anyway. So if you have a Town Hall 11 at the top of your clan without the Eagle Artillery, you better believe that most of the time you're going to get maxed with an 11 that is, does have the Eagle Artillery. That's the way the matchups work now, so you might as well put them out there yourself. And I know that when you first go into 11, it's really hard to 3-star another 11. And that's why people didn't put the Eagle Artillery out there. You're, you're really hoping to pull either lower 11s or high 10s. Uh, but that's just not the way the system works right now. So get up, get the elite defenses out there as soon as you can. So at least you can defend. And that way you, you won't have to get quite as many stars to try to win the wars. Okay, so as we're finishing watching, uh, this is Lanessa. She's using, uh, I believe it was the... Gobaho, which is Gollum, Valkyries, Hog Riders, which is a really effective uh, ground attack for Town Hall Nine, especially. And and really now with the way with the way the Infernos are, um, Hog Riders are effective in Town Hall Ten and Eleven. So if you're a Town Hall Ten and or an Eleven and you are not using Hog Riders, you can stop breaking them out, stop far farming with them. Uh, matter of fact, I use Hog Riders and Miners on almost every farm raid. And they do a great job. I can three star in Town Hall 11 on a multitude of different bases with them. So something else. This is another. This is another. Uh, I guess an important feature that we've tried to adapt to because we've been in a lot of multi-clan wars. We we had a little about six or eight months where we tried to do one about once a week with another with other clans. We'd get into the feeder clan and, and we'd get together and we'd use all the tactics from the two clans. And what we've learned is that if you don't assign these drop down bases like a lot of clans will, in other words, number five take number seven, number six take num number eight. Um, if you don't assign the bases like that and kind of restrict the players and allow every player from every different town hall level to start off at the bottom of their town hall level and work their way up. And you let the players that are more comfortable attacking higher on the town hall level to attack after the lowers. In other words, uh, you have eight town hall nines. Have the lower guys in town hall nine attack first and try to knock out the lower town hall nines. And then the guys that are a little better in town hall nine attack the top side of town hall nine. And then you'll have your tens dip down and get the very top ones if they have to. Um, try to use that strategy. It works really well. You have to be a little more patient and a little more organized. I know um, a lot of people like to jump right out there at the beginning of the war and they'll have their 1 and 2 attack right away. Uh, as you get up and higher in level, we're a level 14 clan and uh, at level 14, and, and just uh, a little break in, in thought, there's Nirvana, she likes to run around in all four corners and every single little attack. So there you have her patented move, taking out the two tests at the end for another 3 star. <laughs> so, so. Try to organize your wars as best as possible. Be patient. Plan, plan out your attacks. Start from the bottom up. Make sure you have maxed 11s up top. Hopefully something helps you in the video. So sub to the channel guys. We need a thousand subs in order to, in order to have an advertiser on the channel now. It's interesting new, th new feature. If you have any tips on how to beat these engineered clans, please Leave a leave a message down in the comment section. Appreciate that. <laughs> Till next time. It's been easy. Take care, everybody.